Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Bearded Man Studios, and I'm back to go over the, the player class for our C++ game. So I've already created a, a player.h and a player.cpp here on the right-hand side. So let's go ahead and fill out the information inside of it. So if and def, so if not defined, sorry about my lazy mouse there, it kind of just goes off. So if not defined, uh, player underscore h, um, D E F I N E. Let's define player underscore H and end if our pragma wants to stop our circular dependencies, and let's include character dot H. So let's begin and create our class. So class player and terminator at the end. Now we're going to derive from the character class. So if you put a colon uh, public character, we have now derived it from the character class. Let's make a couple of the uh, the things inside of here, um, uh, sorry, the public, public variables. <laughs> that lazy mouse there, I'm just going to stick it up here so it doesn't slide. Okay, so let's make a <coughs> our public variables. Uh, our first one is going to uh, be our constructor, uh, not variable, sorry, our constructors and destructors, public, look at me, I'm not paying attention at all, player, uh, let's make another player that takes in string n, just like the character, and a destructor, player. So one of the things that I want you to do is to jump over to your character class, the header file, and Go over here where it says private and change that to protected because if it was private, our children can't inherit these. But now that it's protected, our children can. So um, uh, something that I learned uh, here is something to remember is that uh, your children can't touch your parents' privates. That's a nice way to remember it. <laughs> I'm sure you've learned that already. So let's go back over to our player.h. And inside of our player, we have finished all this. Let's go into our player.cpp. Let's do include, I uh, spelled that wrong, uh, player.h. And let's make our uh, player colon player constructor. Put a colon and do character. That way we are deriving from the constructor. And let's do our second player with the string in, and let's derive the character and pass in into it. And then let's make our destructor. Oops. Your scope layer. Uh, let's call the destructor of the parent. And there we go. Oh, sorry, we don't need to do this second one. Uh, I, got, I got in the habit from these first two. <laughs> so now we can just build it. There we go, it succeeded. Now let's jump back into our main.cp. So over here we have, uh, let's replace all these characters with players. So let's make a player here. Uh, change this to P, change this to P, change this to P, and let's replace these characters with player, and let's run it. So there we go. We're echoing out our player Bob with 100 health. So we have successfully derived our player from our character. Uh, so now, that, now we have a player class that we can make a little more unique from the character class. So I think that's uh, a good enough video for this one. We've created our player class and um, we're ready to go ahead and extend. I want to create an entity class in the next one to make kind of a tree structure, which I'll explain uh, a little more about in the next one. So until then, uh, see you later.